Hi guys, it's May 24, 2018. There's a new study out that shows that antidepressants, bipolar medications, Parkinson drugs, sleep medications, these drugs are linked to dementia. It's unfortunate that we have the masses still ignorant and willfully choosing ignorance. Ignorance is dangerous to all of us. So this idea I get to choose my own reality. Well, that choice affects all of us. And that choice really pisses me off. All right, before I read a little bit of this article, I want you to listen to something. Peter Bregan, a Harvard trained psychiatrist who has been for decades writing books, speaking at conferences, he's an expert called to testify in lawsuits about the dangers of these psychiatric medications. Peter Bregan and a few other psychiatrists have been speaking out about the dangers of psychiatric medications for a very, very long time. And this is what Peter Bregan said three years ago. For many reasons now, going to a psychiatrist probably the most dangerous thing you can do in the Western world. Other, other than, you know, do something illegal. Did you hear that? Here, it's only a few seconds. Let's play it again. For many reasons now, going to a psychiatrist probably the most dangerous thing you can do in the Western world. Other, other than, you know, do something illegal. Okay, I will link below to that video. And all you have to do is put in a search bar, Peter Brigham, and you will come up with an awful lot of information regarding how dangerous these psychiatric medications are. They are mind-altering drugs. And they are destroying your brain. All right. Um, 50 million people are living with dementia. It's predicted that 130 million will have dementia by 2050. It is not just these medications put on the market as safe, and they're not, and causing dementia, a loss of cognitive uh, functioning in every individual who, who is taking these medications, especially those who take these medications long term. But people are being diagnosed now in their 30s and 40s with dementia. All of this begs questions. The exponential increase in illness and diseases and syndromes. Nothing has radically changed with the biology and the brain within the human being. So that begs questions. And those questions should be geared to what's going on in our environment. The correlation between this exponential increase in disease, illness, syndrome is the overload of toxins in our environment and these drugs. The microwave frequencies, brain altering, we're saturated in them now. The toxins that they are spraying, the geoengineering, the aerosols, the nanoparticulates, especially aluminum, which is the main ingredient that they are spraying. It's in our air. Nanoparticulates cross the blood-brain barrier. The main ingredient, aluminum. Aluminum is linked to dementia. So um, these drugs have what is known as anticholinergic effects. And the effect is that it blocks a specific neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. OK. Well, the anticholinergic effect is linked to dementia. I will link below to this PDF. This drugs with ACB score of 1. The score of 1 means that it has a possible anticholinergic effect. And in this score of 2, score of 3, it's a definite effect. And the reason why I'm doing this is because an awful lot of people are on these drugs. The right-hand column is the brand name. Tegretol, 
Flexoril, Demerol. Uh, score of three, we have Elevil, Paxil, Benadryl. It's not just antidepressants or, sorry, um, antidepressants or Parkinson drugs, bladder uh, disorder drugs, sleep drugs, Benadryl, and all of those PM medications that they put on the market. If they have this particular ingredient, and let me let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can maybe see it. This particular ingredient, don't buy it. What is it? Diphenhydramine? Diphenhydramine? I don't know. Um, then look for another sleep medication that does not have this ingredient. Because that is a definite, a definite anticholinergic effect. And why is it? especially dangerous with these sleep medications because this ingredient parks in your brain. It stays in your brain. What is the importance of uh, acetylcholine? The importance? It's very important. It's an extremely important neurotransmitter. It's critical for everyday functioning of your brain, particularly in areas of memory, learning, movement, it prevents memory loss, improves attention, helps you sleep better. It promotes rapid eye movement, that stage of sleep, that REM stage that many of us now are deprived of because these microwave frequencies deplete our melatonin and affect our REM stage. It is why so many people now have to take these sleep medications and why so many people are waking up feeling like hell. All of this, all of our environment today has manifested in a way that we now have all of our natural processes disrupted. And that's why so many people are relying on these external um, forces to help them. Buying these products, help me sleep, but they're doing so much damage at the same time. The only way out of this is to go back to an environment that does not have all of these poisons, but, but that means we need to let go of this technology. I would do it in a heartbeat, but we can't get through to people. And they, with hostility, refuse to hear the truth because they want their technology. They want their cell phones. And that is really, that in itself is causing an awful lot of damage to all of us. They won't give it up. Many people on psychiatric medications refuse to listen to the truth that their reality is being warped, that their brain the longer they stay on these psychiatric medications, their brain begins to function synthetically. The longer you stay on, your brain stops functioning organically, naturally. And it, it now needs those drugs. That's why the withdrawal is so painful. Because your brain has adapted to this synthetic chemical that you're putting into it. And when you remove that, it doesn't know how to go back to its normal functioning. And it may not ever go back to its normal functioning because many of the adverse effects are permanent. And they have known this for a very, very long time. But the other, uh, the other drugs, which I know a lot of people are on, are um, and these are the only ones that are studied. So in this study in particular, there's more drugs that have this anticholinergic effect. But Seroquel and Melaril and um, Zyprexa, 
Paxil, Tofrenil, all of these drugs are affecting in a very dangerous way your brain and I can't I can't stress that emphasize it uh, enough so I will link below to everything six acetylcholine acetylcholine I don't know benefits and functions um, there are supplements that you can take it's just these drugs alone are causing so much damage but here it lists the positive and negative effects of acetylcholine uh, the deficiency the stronger supplements Ugh, you know what the weed whacker is here and I'm not doing this over so Jesus and of course he has to just walk through the parking lot with it on not doing a thing God there are so many frustrations taking place today all right um, but here are the stronger supplements that you can take to increase the acetylcholine coffee caffeine caffeine not coffee and unfortunately the coffee much of the coffee that you're buying in supermarkets are it, it also have a lot of toxins in them so yeah they have it's this new study and studies they have been coming out with studies for decades and it's almost like I would I would feel like as a scientist today doing these studies like what's the point nobody listens no one listens cognitive impairment psychiatric medications cause cognitive <laughs> oh my god the noise here either it's the neighbors screaming at one another or it's uh, this goes on every single day you have no clue how many videos every day I have to start over I'm not doing this over um, I just hope that you you know circulate the information not my video but the links that I provide below because people are doing an awful lot of damage to their own brains to their own um, bodies so here are other medications yes this has been known the anticholinergic effect other medications are antihistamines, antidepressants, um, antimedics, I don't know what that is, antipsychotics, antivertigo, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal medications, muscle relaxants, Parkinson drugs, and urinary incontinence drugs. And here are all of the, Jesus, the poten potential adverse consequences, which are very similar to the symptoms of all of the other poisons. Bloating, decreased bowel motility, convulsions, clumsiness, breathing difficulties, memory loss, cognitive decline, distress, excitement, nervousness, impaired attention, restlessness, dizziness, drowsiness, headache, increased heart rate, lethargy, fatigue, skin changes, dryness, decreased sweating, flushing, excessive warmth, blurring of vision, worsening glaucoma, eye pain, light sensitivity, and much more. All links are below, guys.